my channel. I can't believe that we are actually in the mid part of May. That is just crazy to me. But today I have a really fun and summery type of recipe for you guys. I've actually always wanted to try a recipe with some wine in it and I finally did. This is perfect for any type of summer cookout or just any type of summer event or just any time you just want to make a cupcake for yourself. So today I made some sangria cupcakes. These are so cute. This is what they look like. I made a vanilla sour cream recipe and then the actual cake does have some fruit in it. So it gives it that little bit of crunch. And then on top is a vanilla buttercream with some red wine added in. I think that these are so cute and they're so good. If you like sangria, you're really gonna like these. So if you guys wanna learn how to make these sangria cupcakes, then please keep watching. So first up, I'm gonna combine all my dry ingredients, starting with one and a half cups of flour, with one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and three fourths cups of sugar. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together and set that aside. Now I'm gonna work on my wet ingredients, starting with two eggs and then one stick of melted butter, along with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and then a half a cup of sour cream. And I'm just going to beat those all together until completely incorporated before we add our dry ingredients. So now I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients just a little bit at a time, just because you don't want that flying everywhere in your house. Next up, I'm just going to add the juice from one whole orange, and I'm going to mix that into my batter until combined. And then lastly, we can add the fun, colorful part. I'm just going to be adding a fourth cup of chopped apples and a fourth cup of blueberries, along with a half cup of chopped strawberries. And you just wanna mix this in with your hands. You do not wanna use a real hard mixer for this or else it'll break those fruits. So now I'm just adding them to my cupcake pan about two thirds away full. And I'm gonna pop that into the oven at 350 for about 14 to 16 minutes. Now I'm just boiling two cups of red wine with a fourth cup of sugar on my stove. And I'm just gonna add that to my icing later. So now I'm gonna add one stick of softened butter with three tablespoons of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla to my stand mixer, and I'm going to mix those together until all those are combined. Then lastly, I'm just going to add in four cups of my powdered sugar. I'm just doing two cups at a time, just so this doesn't go everywhere. And you'll just wanna mix that with your stand mixer until it's light and creamy. Lastly, I'm just adding in that red wine syrup. I will have full directions on how I made that down below. And that's pretty much it to the icing. And then you can go ahead and put it in your piping bag. I'm just using a star tip and I'm piping on big swirls to this. And then I'm adding some actual fresh fruit to the tops of these. And just look at how good that fruit looks peeking through the vanilla cake. I think these look so adorable and so summery. So as you can see, I'm just adding some oranges to the tops of these. Then I just popped on a little piece of a strawberry and then I added blueberries to each of them just to add some fun color and make them look even more summery. And that's all there is to these sangria cupcakes. It's pretty simple, the only thing that does take some time is making the red wine syrup. So I would recommend that doing that before you even start because it kind of is a long process, but it is so good. It's so worth it. These are so colorful and bright and cute. I think you guys are gonna love them and it's finally summer. We can finally celebrate with summer recipes. I'm so excited. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of those summer recipes. And like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And I really hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye.